Hello and welcome to this OpenTX quick tip. This quick tip is for a patron of mine called Dave. And Dave wants to know if you can use these six position switches, if I can even say it, at the top of the radio to do other things. And with OpenTX, the answer is normally yes. In this case, it's absolutely yes. So Dave, let me show you a couple of tips with this. Now, if I just zoom across here, in the outputs, I've actually uh, set up the six position switch onto one of the channels in the mixer. Now, what that means is if you just look at the values down here, the values go from minus 100 to plus 100 in 40 increments. So plus 60, plus 20, minus 20, minus 60, minus 100. And you can use those values. You can detect those values on a specific channel and you can use them to create something called logical switches. Now, logical switches is one way we can do this. We'll actually look at two. So let's do the logical switches, which is a slightly trickier way first. So let's just zoom across, set up a couple of logical switches in here. Now, what we're saying is that the tilde, which is that little wiggly line, A wiggly line X or A tilde X, what you're looking for is you're comparing one thing with the next thing. So we'll do it again here. So we'll say if A tilde X... We'll zoom across and we'll select the six position switch. And now we'll select 20. And hit enter. You can see here now that the logical switches are detecting those moving values on the, the six position switch and turning on the logical switch here. So at the moment in position one, it's detecting that it's at minus 100. So logical switch one is on, if I press number two, you can see that number two is bolded, three, four. So you can see how that works. Now logical switches can be selected in the menus just like anything else. So now we can use those logical switches to do anything we want. So for example, here I've got the logical switches one, two, and three playing different beeps. So that might have been what you already spotted. If I switch and press one, two, and three, you'll hear different beep sounds. They're very similar, right? So it's hard to hear on the video. However, they definitely are. And you can see them being activated by the fact that they're going bold. But you can use a logical switch like you would switch A, B, C, D, whatever else on the radio. Now, there's another really cute function here as well. You can actually, uh, wherever you're in the menus, you can choose a particular uh, position of the switch. So, for example, here we can have switch A in the forward position, mid or rearward position. Uh, you can do exactly the same thing with your six position switch. If we zoom through here, you'll eventually find the six position switch. That's position one, two, three, four, and five. So if we say, let's go for the six position switch, position switch, we can do things like, we can do things like reset or set the timer just like we would anything else. Don't forget though to make sure that you enable it on the end. And that's the other slightly quicker way to do it in later versions of OpenTX. They added this in, so it's dead easy. What you need to do is just uh, let the radio know with the timer in special functions, which timer you're setting or resetting. Uh, and hopefully Dave, that answers the question for you. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.